Hello and welcome to this channel. In this time, we will discuss about express information or express message in SAP. Have you ever seen express message like this after you run SAP standard transaction code? What this type of message means and how to solve this? Usually, this express message is displayed because of error in update module or function module for saving data to database tables. Why this error is not displayed as common message error when we run the transaction code? Because this update module is usually run asynchronously. This means that the main program and the update module are run in separate work process. So, the update module cannot return anything to the main program. For more clear, I will show you how errors occur in an update module and then the express message is displayed. And then, after that, I will show you how to solve the error. I will show you by using transaction code key 01 or create internal order. We fill the required field and then after that we set the program into debugging mode by using slash edge command. And then we press save button. We are now in debugging mode. And then we create a new breakpoint for command commit work and commit work and wait. If the program reach this command, the program will stop running. Now we continue running the program, so the program meets the breakpoint we created. Okay, we have reached the breakpoint for keyword commit work. And then because we want to analyze the update modules, we have to activate update debugging. Because if we do not activate that, we cannot debug the update modules. Okay, we go to settings and then change debugger profile and settings. And then we make sure the update debugging checkbox is ticked. And then we press button OK or save. In synchronous database update, when commit work is executed, all data will be saved permanently to database table. But in asynchronous database update, when commit work is executed, the list of function modules for saving data to database tables will be executed, one after the other in different work process with the main program. As I said before that almost all standard program use asynchronous when saving data to database tables. So. This program must be using asynchronous way. Okay, we prove that. We execute commit work command. Yep, a new debugger for executing update modules is displayed because we have activated update debugging. Now, we have two debuggers. The first debugger is for the main program and then the second is for executing update modules. We maximize the screen of update module debugger. This is the first update module, function module with name status underscore update. And then we go to the second update module by using return button. And then we are in second update module. 
function module with name object underscore number underscore insert underscore generic we go to the third update module function module with name key underscore s rule underscore save underscore u task and then we go to the fourth update module we will force this update module become error to show you how express message is generated in asynchronous database update, if one of update module is error, so all database changes will be cancelled. We force see this sub RC field become for or not success, and then we continue executing all the update modules. Okay, the update modules debugger has finished but the main program debugger still exists we have forced one of the update module become error the express message will appear if we take an action on sap gui for example pressing button call a transaction code in common field and so on Okay, for example, we call a transaction code, for example, SE11, and then we press enter button on keyboard. Okay, and pop-up express information is displayed that tells us that saving data to database was terminated. And of course, the internal order is not created yet. How to solve this error? We can go to transaction code SM14, but before that, we finish the main program execution. Okay, we go back to transaction code SM14. This program is used to monitor all update modules. Okay, we check the update modules with status error by pressing button cancelled update request the lists are displayed for execution of a transaction code we sort by that okay we found transaction code key 01 or create internal order the transaction code that we have run before we double click the record there are four update modules but only one update module error. We can double click the update module record to see the detail of error. To see the parameter value, we select the record and then we press button display update data. We see the other update module. We see the internal order number is 10004. We check whether the internal order 10004 has already created. Okay, the document has not created yet because of update module error. Okay, now we will solve the error. We will restart the update modules to solve the errors. But of course, before that, we have to analyze the error. In current case, we do not need to analyze the error because we forced the update module become error to show you how express message is displayed. Okay, we restart. We go back to the previous screen. We select the record we want to restart and then we press button repeat update. We see the record has gone. This means the error is solved. We check the internal order created by using transaction code key 3 Okay, the number is 10004 and then we press enter button. 
okay the internal order is created okay i think enough until here for this video we have learned how is express message is displayed and we also have learned how to solve the error okay thanks for watching